Hey everybody, Panther0822 here. We're uh, we're gonna go over the Sith code. Now uh, I told you guys that I would be doing this. Um, so there's there's a couple caveats that I need to put out there. Number one, this is my opinion and my thought process. This is not by any means um, canon or or anything along those lines so please keep in mind that this is nothing more than my thoughts on on this that's really all it is um, and that's really gonna be the biggest caveat that I really have for you guys is that um, this is this is my thoughts uh, the second thing I have is I honestly don't follow. I am I am not a Sith by any means. It is I uh, I disagree with a lot of. I disagree with intentional and kicking the shit out of somebody just so that you can get whatever they have. And and in a lot of ways, that's kind of what what the Sith do. And they may not do it through brute force. They'll do it through other things. Emperor Palpatine is a prime example as far as somebody who used their power of manipulation to get what they wanted. It's not to say that that Sidious didn't whip the shit out of people because if you watched um, Star Wars uh, wasn't wasn't in Rebels, it was in, uh, in Clone Wars, Sidious uh, actually went after Maul and actually kicked Maul and his brother's ass. So if you think for one moment Sidious is above that, he's not, but he's more likely to be a, use diplomatic means and subversion opposed to to brute force. So um, and we and we see that all throughout his his reign, where he uses tactful negotiations or or things to where he manipulates things not to say that he can't pull some things out of his uh, pull he doesn't have any tricks up his sleeve and this is the same with most Sith most Sith in a lot of ways and a lot of in in and based off of this the stuff that I have been able to get a hold of um, and gleam from the movies and gleam from the the games is that brute force is kind of their their secondary default they will try and subverge their way through something but if that doesn't work then they revert to something else so um and then i guess the third caveat is i guess the music that i've going in the background uh this is my wife's this is something that she created uh the not and this was really more something she created so that I could have some background uh, for when I do a vlog or something so that there's not just dead air in the background. Um, so, and I may realize that given the particular tone as far as this goes, um, might be a little too happy. But, um, it's my wife's music and I love it and I think it rocks and we also avoid copyright issues by doing it this way. So, all right, so let's go over this. The first Sith, uh, so the first one is uh, pieces of lie. There's only passion. Now keep in mind with the um, excuse my arm here for a minute. In comparison to the Jedi's first code. And I, I wish I, I've, I've been trying to memorize these, and I've unfortunately I've not been able to to do it very well. All right, there is no emotion, there is peace. Okay, so this basically takes. Uh, basically, they're saying that the peace part of this is a lie, and that there is passion. Okay, so a li little bit of a difference. Well, not a little bit. There's a lot of a difference there. Okay. Now, as far as peace is a lie, that's not, in, in a way that, that could be, sorry, something, I felt something drop. I'm pretty positive I know exactly what dropped. All right. Uh, well, I guess I'll find what I dropped later. 
Um, depending, and honestly, and in some ways, this really is like most of life. It really is depending on your point of view. So, from a Sith point of view, is that peace is a lie. There is no peace, and there's uh, there's only passion. All right. Uh, the second tenet of the Sith is through passion. Let me get the mouse out of the way there. Through passion, I gain strength. So what? Uh, so, and and this is actually. And when you think about this, this is not necessarily a bad thing. The Jedi don't necessarily disagree with some of the stuff. It's just the way that they look at it. So. Um, I mean, the, the second Jedi tenet is uh, there's no ignorance, there is knowledge. So, I mean, there's... Um... Oh. Sorry, I folded my feet and I thought I felt something there for a minute. Um... So, again, when it comes to it, passion is not a bad thing it's probably one of the, it's probably one of the fundamentals and this is actually where when we go through the Jedi uh, the gray Jedi code you're gonna kind of start seeing more of a, a, a marriage if, if you will between the Jedi code and the Sith code there are differences between all three codes but when we go over the gray Jedi code next week um, you'll see um, you'll see some interesting things so um, Passion is not a bad thing. It is a matter of how you apply it, though. And, and, and from my... Again, this is my perspective. So from my perspective... They, the Sith use their passion... To get to, to become stronger. Not necessarily a bad thing, depending on how you do it. But it could be a very large issue. So... Alright. Uh, through strength... I gain power. Okay. Power in its own way can be can be achieved and grabbed a couple of different ways. You can bid through power. You can do other things. Uh, but basically, what they're saying is either through physical strength, through force strength, through brute strength, through whatever strength it is, they gain power. Is, is 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 kind of the, the 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 skin level as far as this goes and honestly I, I if I took some more serious time I could probably actually sit down and actually go through each of these on a more deep psychological value but one I'm not a psychologist so I wouldn't be able to really lend any true value to or, 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 or anything that would be of substance to people again this is my opinions and my thoughts so um, all right. Um, so the next one basically picks up where the last one ends. So the, the so the one above it was uh, through strength I gain power. The next one is through power I gain victory. So basically they're saying through their power they are gaining their victory. So whatever that power is, whether it be the force or, or military power or martial power or whatever that power is, that is how they are gaining their victory. And then the next part is uh, through victory, my chains are broken. Um, okay, sorry, I was skipping down to the next one just to kind of to collect my thoughts a little bit. So, um, so basically, in a lot of ways, the way the way the Sith be the Jedi is that the Jedi I mean when 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 you, when you go through the Jedi code and, and and I'll just go through the Jedi code real quick um and I'm I'm reading this through the Jedi path uh really, really good book I still need to finish reading it but it's a fantastic book of what I've read so far so um and then you can reference the previous uh, the the uh, the, uh, the Jedi code video all right so the uh the, so the Jedi code is so let's let's go through these just real quick all right, uh, there's no emotion, there is peace. There is no ignorance, there is knowledge. There is no passion, there is serenity. There is no chaos, there is harmony. 
And then the next one is, uh, there is no death, there is the force. So that's just a real quick rundown as far as the, the Jedi Code goes. And when you take a look at the Jedi Code in a lot of ways, it's kind of, and in a way it's kind of a boot, uh, well I shouldn't, uh, Buddhism would not be the best comparison, but it's a, 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 I guess it's a similar enough comparison. Um, when you take a look at Buddhism, uh, when you take a look at Buddhist monks, they train every day. And a lot of people think, well, they just train so they can kick somebody's ass. No, that's actually not why they train at all. They train so that it, it, they don't have to fight. But if they do, they know how to fight and they know what to do. So when you take a look at somebody who trains in martial arts, they are not training because they want to kick somebody's ass. They are training because they want to better themselves, they want to enlighten themselves, and they want to become better. Now, don't get me wrong, there is the other side of the coin. Okay? So we can reference the original um, Karate Kid with the Cobra Kai school, where in a lot of ways you could see, you could take this Sith code and you could apply it to that school, where they are just brutal. They are not, they are there to hurt people. They are there to just kick people's ass and be bullies, is really what they're there for. And granted, it's a movie, and, and you have to have that kind of very, very, very obvious counterpoint um, in regards to to the hero. The hero is basically the light side of the equation. He has to over, he has his heroic journey, and he has to overcome it. And then you have the bad guy who's already rooted in his evilness and his and his behavior, and it's up to our our, our good guy to overcome that. Now, simply put, does that happen every time? No. Uh, life is one of those things where as hard it is possible to do everything right and still wrong it's one of my favorite quotes from Star Trek um, because and and this has happened to me on more than one occasion to where I have done everything right I was the right person for like a job and they chose somebody else it is possible to do everything right and still lose it is important to understand that it is because it is part of life and in once and, and there, there are a few things in life that that are that fit into that you have to understand thing because once you start to understand it then you can start moving on you can start overcoming things okay one of the statements that my wife and I hated for the longest time is the statement it is what it is and we hated that statement because it's like well it's not what it is what it is and as as we grew up and as we matured we started to understand the statement okay so let's take a look, let's come back to this through victory my chains are broken basically the sith believe into giving into their emotion they believe give into the anger and the hate and and they, they believe in giving into that because that is what fuels them that is what drives them and that is what motivates them to be <clears throat> what they are and and again when you take a look at Jedi versus Sith, in a lot of ways, it's very much the yin and the yang. Very, very much the yin and yang. The Jedi believe in the positive side of the equation. If you do these things and you live right and blah, <coughs> excuse me, you can you can gain great amount of peace and peace of mind and all of these things. And we see this in a lot of people who are highly enlightened. They are very much in touch with with their inner spirit, with their inner chi, whatever you want to call it. And they're very much at peace. And in a lot of ways, they can manipulate the things around them because of their, their, their positive outlook. So when, when you take a look at somebody and you take a look at somebody who's really positive, really out there, and, and is doing positive things and then it's like yeah I do yoga and I do all of these things and they're just this really positive and upbeat person and you, you you're drawn to them they have this kinetic energy that you just want to be around them because they're a positive influence and they and from that you draw more positive energy and you and, and you draw from that now with the Sith they are the opposite of that they give into that fear and that anger and that hatred they give into that and we all know people that are like this, where they give into this, they give into the fear, they give into the hate, they give into the different things. And as a result, most of the time they are these angry, cynical, 
assholeish people that you don't want to be around because you just get close to them and you're like dude whoa i don't know what negative shit you have going on in your life but get the fuck away from me and you can just feel it because it it just radiates off of them just this negative nasty energy and there are a lot of people who are like, well, the energy doesn't exist and blah. Well, I mean, here's the reality. Scientists have actually established that the human body does actually conduct an electrical current. And depending on person, they have learned how to grow that, basically, that energy within them. Martial arts call it chi. Um, if you get into yoga and that type of thing, they talk about uh, aligning your chakras and, and things like that. So... It doesn't matter whether you believe in it or not. Scientists have actually proven that something too similar to that does exist. <clears throat> not to the extent as far as like a Jedi or a Sith where we can like do some things. Although one of my instructors when I was teaching martial arts I, one might disagree with me on that. Um, and honestly when it comes to... And, and, well I'm going to backpedal a little bit. Um... <clears throat> Because the reality is I believe in chi and I believe in that energy. I call it my spirit because I, I, I'm a person of faith and I believe in Christ. But I, I in, a, in, in the Christian circle, a lot of my Christian friends and whatnot, or, or a lot of the Christian people that I know, I, I'm at odds with them because of the way that I view things. I view things in a very different way than most Christians do. So... Um, I believe in the spirit, but I'm also able to talk to other people because a lot of people will talk to me about spirit energy and things like that. And I'll be like, well, you probably don't believe in it because you're a Christian. I was like, no, I do believe in it. The difference is you call it X, I call it Y. That's the difference. We are talking about the same thing, but you, we just call it different things. And as long as we can get to, as long as we can get to the understanding that I call it X, you call it Y or vice versa then we can have a good conversation because at that point we can grow together okay so let's come back to the sith code i know i'm i'm, I'm kind of branching off into different things and whatnot um but it's it's really important because on the first video on the first video i i stepped i i, I it was i stuck stuck to the jedi path and i stuck kind of to to that philosophy with this one i have a little more because now i have a first video to branch off of and some things to go off of and then i've got a we've got a third video that i'm going to be doing as far as the great jedi and then there's a fourth video that i'm going to be doing as far as a comparison among the three different codes so there's a lot of stuff to go over in its own way because of what's there because of my personal knowledge because of what i believe and things like that and also again I have not seen anybody actually go over the individual codes. I have seen people reference them <coughs> and things like that. But as far as somebody who actually takes the time to actually go, okay, here's code A, here's code B, here's code C, here's all three of them next to each other, and then let's talk about all of them. So, um, and then the last precept as far as the, the Sith goes is the force shall free me. So, the Sith, in a lot of in, in in a lot of ways, don't limit themselves. They give in to the hate. The problem is, is they give in to the hate and the fear and the anger to the point where they ignore the light and shut it out and try and shut it down and try and destroy it. Sorry, my nose is running. Um, but here's. Here's something. Here, here's here's a concept for you, and we can see it all the time. We we we, we see it in today's society. Um, on this, and, and I really hate to get political as far as this goes, but I will reference President Trump and what's going on a little bit with him. <clears throat> the more you try and shut something down, the more you try and lie about it, the more you try and deceive about it, the more you try and deny its existence the more that something comes through. So to borrow a quote from Leia from episode four, the tighter you tighten your fist, the more fing the more systems will slip through your fingers. It's a very, very, very solid statement. Because the tighter you tighten your fist around something, the more other things balloon out. And, and for those of you who are curious, Go get a balloon, a, a lot, one of the long ones, that you just, and fill it up with water, tie it off, and then squeeze like dead center. 
and try and keep all that water from not going to either side. It's not going to happen because the tighter you squeeze that water, the more you're forcing that water away from the center. <clears throat> so when you take a look at, at, at the Sith, and honestly, this is what happened to the Jedi, and this is what, and, and this is why the Jedi and the Sith constantly have these great purges and these great wars. <clears throat> it's because, opposed to trying to find a balance point, the Jedi are the Jedi. Don't get me wrong; the Jedi are peacekeepers in their own way. However, they are renowned warriors, and they will fight. So do not misunderstand a peacekeeper for a pacifist. They are two different things. We get our police force. Okay? Our police force is there to protect us. But they are not there to be idle. If they see a crime and happen, they'll go and they will stop it. Okay? And, th and that's uh, not to say that the Jedi are a police force because they're not. They're, they're a, a group of people who center around a particular thought process of bringing positivity into the world. The Sith focus on the dark side of the equation. They focus on I'm going to dominate things and I'm going to any form of light I'm going to try I'm going to snuff it out. The problem is is the more you try and snuff the light out, the more the light will grow. And what's interesting and it's kind of noted in, in in the Star Wars movies is if you keep snuffing out the light, the equation will will bounce to the point where you may snuff out all but one light and you're like all right we've got one light and then you come up against that one light and that one light is the one light that you pray to god you never meet because they're the they are the light they are the one thing they are the force that can will and does stop you okay and we see this in star wars a lot we see we we see it um we see it with Luke. Luke overcomes this particular aspect. Obi-Wan, in, in, in his own ways, overcomes this particular obstacle every now and again. People try and snuff out his light. Star, in, in Star Wars Rebels, again, Maul tries to snuff out Obi-Wan's light and fails in the process. Okay? So, when it comes to the Sith Code... Peace is a lie. There is only passion. Through passion, I gain strength. Through strength, I gain power. Through victory, my chains are broken. The force shall set me free. <coughs> In a lot of ways, the Sith... When you read this code, and, and you look at it in kind of a transparent way... The Sith don't, in a lot of ways, the Sith don't say no to the light. They simply ignore the light. And we see this in episode seven. We see this with, um, sorry, my brain just completely died. And unfortunately, it's part of the MS. Um, Damn it, it's gonna bug the hell out of me now. Um, but, um. Red! Sorry. Blast of the Knights are red. Um. I can't remember his name right now, and I'm really gonna. Yeah. Anyways. We see it in between Rey and her counterpart, and honestly, my personal opinion is, is I think they're brother and sister, and I think that, I think that, um, I think Rey is, is a solo, is, is, is what I believe, because honestly, I think what they're doing with the, with 7, 8, and 9 is that they're kind of following the same steps as the books. The books actually, and I haven't read any of them, but I do know of them, and I have talked to enough people. Um, a lot of the books 
follow um, the solo children. And that's wh that's who I think Ray is. I think Ray. I don't think she's she's. I don't think she's a Skywalker. I could be wrong about that, and we'll find out. But my personal opinion is that Ray is is a solo. Um. So, but that, that that's again. You cannot have the light without the dark. The Jedi tried to shut out the darkness by shedding their light all over the place. Darkness can still exist. Even if you have a bright light that covers covers an area, you still can have shadows, okay? If there's a really bright light in the room, I, there's gotta be a hell of a lot of light to extinguish any shadows, okay? <coughs> So, um, so yeah. So, anyways, that's my thought on the jet on on the Sith code, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm actually gonna upload this to a couple different places. Uh, I'm gonna upload this to my David R. Kaiser Photography page. So, for those of you who follow me there, um, I know I have not posted anything in quite some time. I'm very sorry about that. I did actually just upload. Uh, I'm in the process of actually uploading some some stuff there uh, this morning when I went out it was really nice and bright and sunny and then it got really cold and rainy although at this point it looks like the Sun might have returned and it's and it's light out and if it is I'm gonna throw some uh, I, I'm gonna throw some more comfortable clothes on than what I'm wearing now and then I'm probably gonna go and hike a little bit because I need to get out of the house and I love hiking so um, but this is also going to be uploaded to my Panther0822 page, my Twitch page, and my other, and uh, actually it's going to be uploaded to both of my YouTube pages. So anyways, I want to thank you guys so much. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll have more for you next Tuesday. As far as the Gray Jedi Code, the Gray Jedi Code will be next week. And then the following week after that will be a... Um, We'll go over all three codes. And uh, somebody did a really nice poster putting all three codes on the same poster. It's a really pretty poster. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll have that post, I'll show you that poster. And if I can find it, I'll even put the link for you um, so that you guys, if you guys want it, you can, you can download it and find it and whatnot. So anyways, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And until the next time, this is Panther0822. Peace out guys, have a good night.